the verse that it says Jesus says I've chosen you I've appointed you to should go and bear fruit and that your fruit will remain now listen to this that whatever you may ask the father in my name he may give you it's interesting how Jesus puts answer to your personal prayer at the end can I ask you a question how answer to prayer comes after the answer to our call most of us God calls us and God says can you go can I love people through you can you raise people for me you hear the call but most of us don't answer it God says when you're calling what if I would treat your prayer like you treat my call what if when I call and I say my heart is breaking because the world is going to a lake of fire and I did everything I could so nothing that happens could you please give me a hand it's like God I, I hear you I know I know but I'm just kind of shy I have kind of a lot of other stuff you, you don't understand God it's kind of it's kind of complicated here in 21st century the new iPhones coming out the Instagram the Facebook the Twitter the YouTube and all these funny videos the cat videos on Facebook you kind of have to catch up with it God you don't understand the school and the boyfriend the budget my car the, the flat tire God you, you, you don't understand you know we, we can get to this but let's take time and then you come up it's like oh God oh God oh God oh God and God looks at what you're crying about and and God sees how you're treating his cry with indifference not always it's not always theologically correct but I'm gonna on a limb to say the way you treat God's call is the way God treats your prayer that's why Christians always have this question why does God not answer my prayer can I ask you a question why don't you answer his why doesn't God answer my cry why don't you answer his it's interesting that Jesus said I'll answer your prayer after you answer mine Jesus said and then you can ask whatever and the father will give you why because whatever he asked you gave God is not asking for something that's needed for heaven he's asking for something that's needed for people I want to challenge each one of us including myself people always complain in our church a night person especially how come we spend 95% of our whole night prayer praying for souls for revival gifts of the Holy Spirit healings home groups leadership and everything and then we take two minutes to pray for our needs why are we praying for the world but not for ourselves why are we praying for three cities but not for our needs if we show to God we care what you want you don't have to pray very long for your personal needs after that you can sometimes even say Lord it's in your hands God will treat my prayer similar to the way I treat his call guys you can't trade God I know that sometimes in mercy God will answer even if we reject God God always promises to hear your prayer but he doesn't promise to always answer your prayer as a Christian that is connected how do you answer God's call